Alright guys, we thought it might be cool to show you something really really awesome that we've been working on that will be released with the editor for Rise of the Triad. And um, and I have uh, my lead level designer with me here, Leon. Leon, say hi. Hey guys. And uh, and I'm Frederick, the game director on uh, on Rise of the Triad. Um, so uh, so let us just uh, th this is the Rise of the Triad editor here called uh, the Ludicrous Development Kit, which we're gonna release uh, after the game. So you guys can go in and do whatever you want with the game, create new levels, put them online, create mods and single player campaigns, and just have a lot of fun with it. But uh, but yeah, Lin, do you want to tell what we actually did for the old school Rot fans with the old Rot for this? Yeah, we've uh, basically made uh, a set of uh, assets that correspond sort of one to one with the old, with the original Rise of the Triad, so you can create uh, you know the old school blocky levels, and it's really straightforward. You can just uh, drag and drop, and it's really fast and simple and it looks great too and it's yeah it's amazing. insane it's like it's completely uh, one to one graphics from rise of the tribe yeah, in arlington 3 and it's super smooth and looks bona fide <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right so yeah here um this is a this is a template map that uh, that leon created for uh, which is basically a starting point so we we kind of tried to make this a bit like uh, a bit like lego blocks i guess you can say yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great analogy. Yeah. Um, let me just find the uh, the classic package we have here. Um, yeah. Let's see, Rod Classic. So yeah, this is this is our content browser that has um, that has all of our classic stuff in here. Um, so uh, so basically, yeah, we have. I, do we? Have, I think we have everything from Rise of the Tribe, right? For like all of that. Yes. Yeah, and some stuff from Return of the Tribe as well, um, which is interesting. Oh, you had <laughs> you really to get like... that in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, that's orange, awesome. The, the orange sky and um, from Return and a couple of blue blocks and stuff that went in the Return. And there's also, interestingly, uh, some stuff from a very early version of Rise of the Tribe, because some blocks that went here in the original thing. Oh, man. So, some um, old, uh, old yeah, so, beta stuff? For the, uh, I'm not the... beta, just from the 1.0 version, which had, uh, they, they had stuff that was never used, that was never made into the game, but it was still in the files, so I imported those as well, just for fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, th this is pretty much just drag and drop, which is, uh, and every everything yeah. matches the, the sizes. Um... Yep. And that's the that's the door one you've got there, the door block. Oh, um, yeah. Because one, it's got a different material channel when you can apply whatever side-on thing for the door that you want. Or so, you can use it to create, you know, double sided you know, different texture on the side. I think the cool yeah, thing here is one. that you can you can basically create, you know, you can create the old Rise of the Triad levels one-to-one, -one, but now with the... Uh, yeah, you, with the modern... Uh, yeah, with, with, the modern yeah. with the modern game features such as everything not being 90 degree angle yeah. walls. <laughs> and, and this is like way easier to use than any of the, you know, any of the current edits is out there. It's very straightforward, and you can just jump straight in. Don't need to just, compile or anything. Let me just see what my super crappy uh, Rise of a Triad level here looks like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so much fun to play around with. Like this, and this works for uh, for everything. You can create create single player campaigns, multiplayer levels. You know, recreate the old levels. Uh, let me just jump yeah. in here and just uh, just show you guys. So, oh yeah, let me just first select the um, the game type for it, which is uh, Rot Games single. single Player. There we go. So yeah, this is basically what it looks like. And as you can see, like all of the textures and and everything is basically as it was in the old DOS days. I don't even think we have uh, we have lighting or anything in here, right? It's just no, like it's, it was. It's got, a, it's got yeah, even lighting like the original game already with that template map. So you just start from there. It's all ready to go. Exactly. This yeah. is this is such a cool feature. I, I can't wait to see what people come up with when they play around with this. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Let us let us show you guys what um, what it looks like um, in one of the levels that that actually looks good 
with all these things. Um, so this is a, a level you guys probably will have a hard time finding, but it's just a small example to, to show you that that this is what ROT 95 looks like in uh, in ROT 2013. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we just wanted to show you guys this, uh, this little extra feature and uh, you know, for, for old school routers, uh, this this is an extremely easy way to recreate your levels. And we, we of course, supply everything you need. Uh, just, uh, you know, drag and droppable assets. You can drag and drop weapons in there. You can drag and drop power-ups and coins. And everything is just mm -hmm. drag and droppable. You know, I think everyone can jump into this, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thanks for, for watching, guys.